Hello you guys. So happy to see you guys. As you guys know, I have been working on this documentary and this docu-series for like ever. So it's called um It's called From Worldly Rags to um From Worldly Rags to Spiritual Riches. Okay, this is what it's this is what it's called. And it's you guys will see the title, but this is what it's called. And I've been showing you guys how uh, this also relates to my book that I published called um, Love the Spiritual End. Okay, so if you know how I got this book, you can get this book. I also have a book out called The Covenant, The Covenant Series. So this is all, this is all what's happening. Now the book, The Covenant is both fiction and nonfiction. Okay, very, very important. That's what's happening in the book. So The Covenant is an amazing book that you guys have not read it you should read the book okay very very important okay you should read the book if you have not okay and it talks about a journey through um through time as in it's showing me if i made a mistake and if i went a certain way let's say if i marry a particular person uh what would happen if i marry a particular person okay and it's showing my life in a different way so i'm going to talk about that on here too okay when i'm you guys are going to hear my story i'm going to talk about that too like what would have happened if i would have chosen another way okay or another another uh way i'm going to talk to you guys about that as well okay very very important so what you guys are going to see you guys are going to see um you guys are going to sit here and see this story in live play okay so what i did today was again as you guys i've been talking to you guys about a lot what i did today was i went to a place to get food they give food showers they give uh, lunch okay so i left so i did not get lunch because i left and i went to church okay i went to church i sat in church for like bought some coffee at the church sat in church for like two minutes and left okay very very important so you guys probably will see me go to uh different churches and different things like that okay very very important now um a lot of people around this time let's say being homeless on the street people thought that i was a muslim okay because i wore my i wore her i wore my her scarf like a hijab okay i'm not muslim okay very important but this is what people thought but it has something to do with me um hiding or protecting my faith all right and you're going to see why you're going to see that reason soon okay as to why people thought when i was on the street okay let's say me now being on the street i never had my head like this okay so this is a first it's a reason i'm doing this all right when you see me with the shades on that's a reason when I was on the street, I covered, this is why when most of the men are walking around with this, like they, their scarf is like this. This is why I talked about the situation today. They thought I was a guy. Okay. All of these people were stalking me. They were calling me, saying all these, throwing all these men names out. And this woman was very persistent in trying to get me to talk to her. And I did not talk to her. Okay. Very, very important. So this is a reason okay very, very important there's a lot of women wear their hair like this and there's a lot of men okay when i came out on the street i had my hair was um red i didn't know i did not uh dye my hair this was a natural okay i came out on the street i had i did have a relax on my hair okay i do not have a relax on my hair now uh, i had a relax on my hair my hair i came out of my penthouse so i would flat iron my hair my hair had like a i had a short hairstyle you could see the the color coming out the copper red okay it looked more like a ginger copper red okay you could see it coming out it turned a blondish color okay about time i go on the street it was turning a blonde okay very very important it's very significant to this investigation i started to uh, my hair i could not get no relaxer uh, they were stealing my I had no money okay they were stealing my um they were stealing my luggage everything for me they stripped it from my penthouse they stripped it from me on the on the uh grass so they're waiting for my hair to turn a particular color okay that's what they're waiting on they want to see it turn a particular color i'm not showing it for a reason and they're not going to see it for a reason okay so my hair started to turn a particular color 
okay i've been covering my natural hair uh for the last two years all you see is black you're going to see i was wearing like black weaves wigs okay i had to put different types of them they was cut short okay in the penthouse i had it flipped i would have you would see it flip like this i would flip it it's i'm not flipping it right now for a reason people are waiting for me to cut it they're waiting for me to flip it i'm not flipping it for a reason i'm not doing certain things for a reason right now very very important so when i go on the street it started to turn another color okay you saw the copper and it started to turn blonde I started to, they wanted, they did not want, they did not like that. Okay. So let's say I would get feminine clothes. They did not want me wearing feminine clothes. They would come and donate and they would donate men, men's clothes. So they wanted me to look like a man, whatever guy I was with, they wanted him to look like a female. Okay. Something like that. I was not with a guy at that particular time, but this is what they wanted it to look like because this guy was supposed to win whoever this, he was supposed to try and reincarnate himself to me. This is a, this is a dude who's very, very jealous. Okay. That was in competition, secret competition. Okay. So this is what they wanted it to look like. Very important. So I lay on the street under trees, all these different things. I try not to sleep by people, but when I did, I realized that there was a lot going on. They would think that I was, you know, with the person or something like that. I did have, you know, situations on the street where, you know, I, I had my, might have been intimate with um, people, but I was not in, I was not married to them. And neither was I in a, a serious relationship. Okay. Very, very important. But when I, as soon as I go up the penthouse, uh, I, st I sat there and I stood there for, for, I mean, I was going all kind of places. I was looking for places. I'm sitting here messaging. I'm telling you, I'm messaging somebody. Um, I'm all in the person DMs, okay? Because I'm seeing uh, dreams of this person coming to help. This wasn't the person coming to help. Person never came. I had to help myself. Very, very important. They was pretending like they was, I'm the person in danger that they're looking for in another country. Yep. They had me looking like I was dead. They already know I'm alive. They know my name is not Stephanie. They know I do not have no kid named or Leo or no body named Lion. Okay. I'm this lion that they sacrificed. Okay. That was not supposed to be here today. Okay. Very, very important. It's something spiritual. Uh, the movie that they thought it was the Lion King and Simba. Okay. Because I, I named one of my cats Angel Simba. Okay. Very, very important. That's what they thought I was. It was. That was, it was not that. It was the Chronicles of Narnia, Oslin. Okay. They already know this. I'm telling you this in advance because you're going to hear in the next few months, you're going to hear that. You're going to see that woman king anointing. That's me, a woman king. I am not a, I'm not a guy. Okay. This is why you see queen as a title, but it's a woman king, meaning I'm the monarch and there is no uh, dominant male over this position. Okay. That can overthrow or take this position. Very, very important. I prophesied during that particular time. I said the throne was handed over to a woman. Okay. The first, imagine being the first woman Pharaoh as a woman. Okay. This was a majority. This was a very dominant um, land. All these nations. Okay. And it was passed down and given to a woman. Okay. Myself, I can't, I am a female, but I stay in that title as a guy, a man. That's why they thought I was a man. That was the most dominant title as a king. Very, very important. If you watch the, the uh, movie, um, woman king. Okay. That came out. Some of it is very significant, but all of it is not the story. Okay. Very, very significant. They saying that I gave away my child. Uh, that the, the uh, yeah, they saying I was adopted. Okay, me. This is what they looking for me now. They saying I gave away a child, and they saying that me now is adopted. Me now is not adopted. Okay, my mother did not give me away. My mother was not the mother on the birth certificate. They're finding out that the name that's on the birth certificate is actually myself. Okay, because of this particular thing that they did years ago. Very very important. But they they're looking at me to be a son or a guy. That they were too being too nosy. They do not understand it. I do not have a sex change. I'm not into sex. Okay. This is what they were obsessed with this being. Very, very important. So they're doing all of these type of things in order to change the story. Very, very important. So the things that I said, when I said uh, this particular protection on these particular people in Canada, 
right? There was two people that was in my identity in Canada. Very, very important. I knew this. These two people are actually guilty. Okay, very, very important. I'm not in Canada. Nope, I had never been in Canada. I have never lived in Canada. But yes, there is Canadian territory that I own. All of it. So uh, they wanted me to talk about Jamaica and all of that, all of it. Okay, but have I ever traveled that? No. This is they're looking for. They were waiting for that part of the story. So all of these people are, are doing all this mess. I have not said that yet. So they oh, she have not said it yet. So it, I waited. I waited like I was supposed to. Because I knew that they were going to use a woman to copy and replicate the same exact story. And they were going to do it now. Exactly what they did. Okay. Very, very important for the investigation. So I wanted to clear that up because that's happening now. I did not kill myself. I did not jump over a building. No, I did not try to jump over a building. Okay. There was, there were, I did see that there were officers that were trying to bust into a particular place of mine. They were not good. It was in another realm. Okay. It was in a, this is why people cannot uh, understand why I'm alive. That's a part of a whole nother investigation as to people coming in and trying to take my life. Okay. That was avoided. I'm not supposed to be here talking to you right now. But I was not, when I saw it, it did not prompt me to jump on a uh, on a building and kill myself. These people want need me to say I killed myself or I tried to. Very, very important. There's a, they have me under a particular diagnosis that is not true. These people know this not true. These people know this not true. They've monitored my thoughts. They've monitored everything I said. They paid, they, they did all of this stuff to figure out what I'm doing next. Stalked me. Okay. Very, very important. Okay, I'm not a Jackie. I'm none of these people. All right? But a lot of my nickname is not Red. Okay? No. So, yes, you might see people walking around here with red hair. And it's the reason why they're walking around here with red hair. And I know that reason. Okay? But so all of these people wanted this. They're fighting for this particular spot. They're fighting for a man that I'm not with. Okay, that they thought I was going to be with two years ago. Yep. They're looking for this particular soul to shift it to whoever this woman is. I don't want your man. Okay. If anything, your man is cheating on you. Mm -hmm. They because they got my they got my identity somewhere all around, making it look like uh I'm some guy or I'm some woman all around, and that y'all think that's really me. Okay, because they copy in the same skincare, the same perfume. They might smell like a particular way. Yeah, I had people on the street. I smelled like a rose. When I sneeze, it, it smells and tastes like a rose. This is what they wanted that, that to be looking like. So they still think that they got this flying around somewhere else. The women, let's say they put me in an identity. They're talking. They might have the same laugh. They might post the same way. They really think that's me over there. No, that's not me over there. Okay, my name is not Jasmine, but it's very significant. The uh, Disney princess Jasmine was very significant as to what happened to her. That's what's going on. That's what they're calling me that. Okay, they call Ariel. All these D Disney uh, princesses. That's not my name. My name is not Ariel. But all of these princesses and all this stuff, this is what people were, were thinking. They thought I was a Nizzy. Okay, everybody walking around here calling themselves that. Okay, they they thought I was a guy walking around here. I was not. It's some other stuff that I knew was about to happen to a particular person. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to share, share that on there. It's a lot of stuff that I know. And I do not talk about that here on live. Okay, but I will on live video. But it's that's behind the scenes stuff that I'm not going to talk about here on video. Very, very important. This is what these people thought. Okay, they thought I had a son. I do not have a son name. Uh, D'Angelo, I don't have a son named Daniel. That's not me. I don't have a son named David. I don't have a son named Emmanuel or Manny or Abraham. None of that. I don't have a son named Dominic or Mark or Quito or none of that. I don't have a daughter named Esther. This is That's not my name. This is what they thought. Okay, this is why they were stalking me around. I don't even have a son named Keith and I'm neither am I with some, anyone named Keith or a PJ. Okay. Or a JP. This is what they thought. Very, very important. So imagine being stalked around. Imagine I don't even have a son named Michael or a brother. 
okay but imagine being stalked around all day all day i don't have a son named cornelius neither am i with anyone named cornelius i don't have anyone that relates to me by the name of heather okay they was walking around here calling me a tailor. i am not a tailor or a tay none of this so all of these people were they've been calling me names all day trying to i don't i'm not with anyone named anthony all of these names i'm talking about i am not any of these people so they were trying to figure out well who is this because we've seen that it was supposed to be a boy so she is she, is she a boy what is this why are we seeing this they thought i was somebody named leo i'm, I'm not in, my name is not leo they you my name is not king my name is not Lion, okay? I do not have a, ch a dog or a, ba a child named Leo or Lion. I'm not with anyone named Leo or Lion, okay? But what this is, all of these, they were doing all of this stuff. Very cocky. Very cocky. And there's people that's walking around. They got a whole legal books and legal fees. And they got my name in it and my story in it. And please, I'll tell you this. Please, please say my name. Please put, put my name in your book. Please put my name in your book. Because they sh they thought they shifted my identity to a dog that somebody got walking around because she was obsessed. Okay? Because supposedly she could not discern the spiritual realm and I guess she went on a balcony. Everybody all of a sudden need to have a schizophrenic diagnosis uh, because that's the diagnosis you guys see on my seal. I'm not schizophrenia. They know I'm not schizophrenia. They know this. That's part of the investigation. They know I'm not bipolar. That's part of the investigation. They know I do not have multiple personalities. That's part of the investigation. They know I do not have ADHD. That's all part of the investigation. They, I don't even have autism. I was talking at two years old, actually 12 months. I was tying my shoe at three years old. I should have autism because I'm a, a creative genius. I should. I don't though. All of these other people that they found the identity in, they they got autism. That's what they're wondering. Why doesn't she have autism? She should because I only I have to have lamps and really uh I don't like a lot to light. I don't like a lot of uh noise. I I used to have ear aches very very early when I was a kid. Ear aches, not ear infections. Ear aches. Okay, they used to be so bad. Okay, the aches. I used to have. They used to do witchcraft on my feet. Okay, my feet would because they saw what I was going to go to in my career. They would cur curse my feet and do witchcraft and voodoo on my feet. I would fall down out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Random. I would have random aches in my feet. Yep. They're walking around here saying, "Oh, your mother was a witch. She did witchcraft on you." I was not a witch. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, your mother tried to kill you. That's not true. That's not true. This was other people that were dropping in to people around me that were trying to kill me. And they're still stalking me today. People are trying to figure out what type of food do you eat now? I eat Mediterranean food. That's my diet. I do have Indian food that I do eat. I do not eat it all the time. There was a restaurant that I used to go to. They closed it down. I was so upset they closed it down. They used to play Christian music in the restaurant. This restaurant was called Kabox, okay? It was a Mediterranean restaurant. I used to go there and just eat, you know, by myself. Now they have a restaurant called Forties that's around. That's the restaurant that I was going to in 2022 because that was the only Mediterranean restaurant that I really saw. I heard of it. But it was a restaurant called Kabox, and that I, I love that place. It was on West Timer. They closed it down. I'm still looking for it. I'm still looking for it. So, I, yes, I go get the Mediterranean food at another place. I make my own Mediterranean food as well. Every place I go, the Mediterranean food is usually at the store, is usually sold out. I don't like other people to make my salads for me. I like to make my Mediterranean salads. My name is not a Valerie or a V. That's not me. My name does not start with a V. Anything you see, people are thinking that because they see other things, but no, that's not me. 
but there is a person with this particular name or initial that is coming against me or attacking me and you're going to find that out okay it's a bunch of people very very important they're going to find that out okay my name is not pronounced deborah my name is pronounced deborah with an h i have an h on my name in spanish they might say deborah okay in english i mean in india they might say uh debora or um deboa okay they have a, a different way they, they say it okay they have a, a different particular way they say it a lot of people are saying what is your uh what is your culture i have not said that i have multiple cultures okay you hear accent people are like where did the accent come from it doesn't it sound like this but it sounds a, li a little bit different they're trying to figure out where it is where it comes from how did it come about okay very very important okay block pp from the timeline yeah i'm not a p that's not my name my name is not sort with a p okay this is what people thought my name is not Ashley. I don't have any siblings by that name. I don't have any siblings by the name of Jordan or Morgan or all of this. And, but see, this is what all of these people were racking up because they were all listening. And now it's a whole mess of all these people that are supposed to be some type of family members. Okay. It's, they're not looking for the red. They're not looking for when my hair turns red or copper. Okay. They're looking for when it turns a particular color at the same time as the other color. That's what they're looking for. These people don't know though. They think, oh, that's that's you know, look, this person hair fully blonde. The her hair her eyes turn blue, but we hide it. The eyes are gray. We see they gray. We hide it. They're thinking that, you know, oh, that's her because her hair is her hair is uh blonde and she got blue eyes that no, that's not what they're looking for. It's a lot of people walking around here with blonde hair and blue eyes and, and copper hair and red hair that have have darker skin as well okay that's very common that's not what they're looking for okay that's not what they're looking for so it's very important that um yeah that's not what they're looking for that's all i'm gonna say so when i come on here with shades and i come on here with glasses and i talk to you with shades and glasses uh, right now, during this, please do not assume that there's someone else, your mother, your father, that's talking through me. No, it's a reason. Okay, it's a reason. You're going to see the reason why I covered my hair, head, and, and eyes all the time I was on the street. You're going to see the reason I did that. Okay, if you see me with the glasses on, it's a reason I have the glasses on. Okay, my vision is actually was my vision was 2020. My vision now, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I have contacts, but it's a particular prescription right now for the investigations, but yeah, I don't need them, okay? That I do have itchy eyes, okay? But that's in a particular year where I had itchy eyes, where I was diagnosed. I had a very, my eye pressure was very high. I was supposed to have glycoma. I'm not supposed to be seeing you right now, but I can see you, okay? I wore glasses for a particular amount of time. The stigmatism got better. The vision changed. Okay, to where I did not need it. Okay, when I was a child, I did not wear glasses when I was ch a child. I was 2020 until a particular year. That's when they knew. Okay, it was a particular year. That's when they knew. All of a sudden, the castle, they set the castle on fire. People stalk, but these people have been stalking me around. All right. So, yes, my only prescription when it comes to, uh, um, to my eyes is eye drops. Okay, and I have a I have an eye prescription, but I'm not saying what it is on here now, right now. Mm -hmm. Because right now, it's uh, it's not no two. No, my eyes not that bad. It is not no two point zeros. That, that my eyes is, don't my eyes is not that bad. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So they thinking because my eyes are not that bad, they they say oh that's not her, it is me. But my eyes are not that bad. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All these other people's eyes looking like that. Because their eyes are dilated. When my eyes are dilated, yeah, I can see through them glasses. When my eyes are dilated, my eyes are not dilated. Okay? So this got me looking like my glasses is like a two point. No. I had astigmatism in one of my eyes. 
okay and it was actually both of my eyes and my my vision went from a 2020 to a particular uh to a particular um prescription the next year it got worse okay and it went up more all right i think it was the next two years it went up more all of a sudden it went back down okay yeah it went back down that was when i got re i re i re got glasses it went back down again so i had a very like it could be nearsighted foresighted okay but it, it happened because of me being on the computer writing books all day okay me having the phone so i needed a shield on my glasses when it came to the computers that's what happened okay it was a lot of pressure it was a lot of migraines i was having okay um so yes i am diagnosed with migraines do i have to take medicine all the time no do i have any neurological disorders no i do not okay my brain is completely healthy and completely fine i do not have dementia i do not have memory loss so this is what these people wanted me to look like i'm not even supposed to remember any of this right now today they thought i was supposed to get up and i was just supposed to forget and slurring and all of this so this is what they're expecting because during a particular time my face was leaning almost as if i was having a stroke yeah this is why they thought i was dead this has something to do with a drugging okay or a poison all right i was not um i did it was not it had nothing to do with a tooth it, it had nothing to do with the dentist there was nothing wrong with my teeth okay i do oil i've been oil pulling for 10 years all right i've been brushing my teeth for and taking care of myself for a very long time all of them cavities that they're showing up that's not me i had a tooth infection and i got my tooth pulled over here that's it all of my wisdom teeth are still intact the dentist wanted to take my wisdom teeth out and i said no there's no there's uh, there's no pain in my teeth there's no need to take my wisdom teeth out so i said no okay all of this is being recorded and transcribed i said this two years ago i said everything that i'm saying is being transcribed that everything i say has been transcribed okay for the last maybe two years let's say i'm talking out loud because i know people are listening to me it's been transcribed okay not only are they transcribing what i'm saying out loud they're transcribing what i'm thinking in my head as well this is why you're going to find out these people can find and, and listening to what people they're not supposed to have access to that they're not but they do this is what you're going to find out with this technology okay so they've been transcribing everything that i've been saying that you're going to find out that people have been saying things in their head and they've been putting out hits on me from in their head okay that's what you're going to find out and a lot of people they don't want people praying and saying anything because i was praying and they they realized when i was praying i avoided so many hits that were sent on me and i was praying that they, they, i told you guys they're not going to want people praying anymore people thought that i was people thought this was the past they thought this was a past life this is now okay this is now these people saw how i was praying in that penthouse i was supposed to be dead okay they saw how i was avoiding all kind of stuff these things was had was supposed to hit me did not hit me okay did not hit me they started to monitor my mind okay they wanted to the, the test was to get me to go psychologically insane that did not work they know there's no diagnosis these people know that when i think and when i say something this stuff happens okay very very important this is what i wanted to share today okay this is episode three i got i got a whole vlog of me going into you guys can see it on live of me going into eat into that place i went there these people did not know that that was me that i remember what happened they're like they're looking like oh she don't remember i guess she don't remember i remember everything i remember everything every single thing that happened i remember you guys are going to see me go sleep outside on the street you're going to see where i slept i'm probably not going to sleep in the same spot i was at because it was probably a lot of stuff but you're going to see uh where i slept you're going to see how people was following me around okay i'm going to show you i'm going to travel okay i'm going to show you guys all of this because this is important for me to show you this 
this important for me to show you this because there's no pay pay attention none of these people out it's some different faces i went into that place it, them same faces i saw a few faces i could tell they were there because the people had the glasses on the glasses are important it's not that you don't wear glasses no when intelligence rim is important glasses are very important these people don't realize they this is probably just somebody that they got glass di glasses diagnosis this is these are regular people living their life very very important regular people living their life they may be walking around with a pair of glasses they probably are prescribed glasses yeah but when this rim is open glasses are very important and i can see it okay every single thing in the atmosphere is important everything so this is a very high investigation right now there were some things i said yesterday i'm not going to send it on here on video okay but it got something to do with the case some cases that's coming up um all of these all of this is important people walking by i you notice when i'm talking you hear me say in the timelines people walking by in the timelines is important okay very important their shoes are important the clothes they got on is important okay all of that's all of that's important these people are not it's very important to know these people and are not me but you're going to see how they use my identity in order to get things open things get access to things pass me yeah see how this person this woman just slammed her door she upset she, i don't know this woman very important i ain't never met this woman but the way you could tell the way she slammed the door different things make as i'm talking all this stuff make a difference i was driving around talking on video this person drive by and looked at me and started going off i'm trying to tell you did not know this person but she she knew she heard me yep so sometimes uh i will i will uh talk sometimes i would not talk okay for a reason but just because i'm not talking does not mean that i know what's, what's going on so these people thought okay she's talking today we getting paid as long as she talk we 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 get some pay every day as long as she talk let her keep talking we on payroll they thinking they on payroll because of some diagnosis that's not it that's what they thought okay they're walking around here saying that's anna that's the one you uh killed it was actually a push it was actually dismembering of the body and the name is deborah do you understand what i'm saying so that's what you're going to find out and then yeah there's there's people that call themselves deborah or deborah there's an h on my name it's spelled exactly like it's actually deborah some people might say deborah okay but yeah it's it's deborah it's always been deborah very very important it's always been deborah it's never been it's not ever been deborah it has always been deborah okay and it has an h on the end of my name but people might remove the h on their name so it can look like so you can call them i've all it always been deborah and it, i do not have a capital b in my name i did not change my name and put a capital b it's always been deborah and i would have to i would have to correct teachers in school they would say deborah i would say deborah <laughs> I will always have to correct them. Many people probably have said Debbie. They probably have called me a Dorothy and all these little names walking around here. You get Bora, okay, is a nickname, but I do not use that now because they'll think I'm in an alias of a B and I'm not, okay? Very, very important for investigation purposes. People have probably heard me say, when they say, hello, what's your name? They probably heard me say, a, a Brittany, okay? And they thought I was a Brittany, no. It's just because I didn't want these people to get to my number. Yeah, I knew it was an agent. So all of a sudden they they go and try to be with this person with that name. That's not who I was. That's not who I am. Okay, very very important. You might people have said what's your name? It, around this time being homeless, people have they might have said who are you? You go well here say you will hear Marie. Right now you're not hearing me say Marie. I'm saying Deborah on purpose. Okay, very very important. If if I say Marie, I'm I'm opening up another realm to see how all these women walking around here calling themselves Marie, and they got the middle name Marie. They caught I'm I'm showing you how they went and go steal buildings and all this stuff. Okay. Very, very important. That's when you're gonna see that. That's me, but that's what you when you're gonna see that. Okay. So they're using all of these names. They're using Maryland, okay, Monroe, Norma Jean. They're using all these names. Okay. 
when you hear me talk, you're going to hear me say Deborah. Now, during that particular time, even in the mental hospital, they probably heard Anna. I remember telling somebody, they said, what's your name? I knew he was an agent that was sent. He was a regular person, but I knew he was an agent. What's your name? I said, Anna. I said, but shh, Deborah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I only told him that. So they saw my badge. They saw my thing and said Devorah. They saw my full name. But that Anna was very important to the investigation because it was the same name. They just had it as an Anna. Okay. They changed the inheritance name to Devorah already. That's already finished. And it was always mine. It was not anyone else's. But they wanted me to look like a grandmother, a, 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 a mother, a grandmother. Yeah, that's what they did. So no, I'm not an Anna walking around here. I'm a Deborah with a history of an Anna. Okay, we'll say it like that. Very, very important. So this is what you're going to see. This is what you're going to see now. They were saying, oh, that's not her. I was in a, uh, let's say I was in a hospital. They were saying, that's not her. There was another woman in a hospital. She was calling herself Deborah and Deborah. Yeah, she was like, I'm, I'm Marie Antoinette. I'm Deborah and Deborah. Yeah, this woman was, it was crazy. It was crazy, okay? Her last name was Vasquez. That was this woman. And they had had this woman in this, they had all these women in my identity for over 20 years, taking medication. I was not taking no medic, med, med, uh, mental medication. I didn't have no mental, uh, I wasn't taking no medication. So they tried to make me look like I was on some medication. This person could have drove around, him and his wife. Could have had something to do with that. Posing as some type of family members. Okay, very, very important. But yeah, no. So when I go in the hospital, uh, they they would not release me. They they forced, they tried to force me on a court order. And I, was, I said, I'm not taking that. You get what I'm saying? So they had to give me shots in my butt. There was a guy named Larry, okay? He was a nice one, but no, the one involved was was not. So they was giving me shots and stuff. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to just take these. So I took it. The doctor that I had was a Dr. Kim. Guilty. All right. You're going to find that out. Whoever, this Dr. Kim, uh, is this whoever this person was in this alias is, this could have been an Ashley in the alias of a Dr. Kim. This could have been a Kim in the alias of a Dr. Kim or a Brian. Uh, this person is going to show up as guilty, okay, for something. This is a doctor, the actual physical doctor. Um, it's not saying that it's the physical uh, person, okay, very, very important. It's the person that was in the alias of the person. That's very, very important that you know this, that I'm saying these names, okay? So in the intelligence, this is a Kim. Okay, very important. This is a, someone with the Kim. This could have been um, a VJ in the alias of a Kim. Okay, or someone with the name V in the alias of a Kim. Okay, that's got glasses on, whoever this is. Or in the alias of a V. They're probably wearing uh, clear glasses. Okay, posing as a doctor. This person could have a doctorate, just got a doctorate. Uh, posing as a psychiatrist or a therapist. Very, very important. In that time when I was in the hospital, I was already certified. Okay. I was already licensed in what I'm doing. People want to know what was the doctorate, what was the honorary. You guys, I had not posted no pictures with the gown and all that on. And so you guys didn't really know. But yeah, they were, they were looking for me and someone else. They were saying, yeah, that's not her. She ain't, we looking at her profile. This not her. She looked like she crazy. She in the, they wanted me to look like I was in a mental hospital. Yeah, they were upset because I was teaching these people how to cure themselves. Uh, they were watching what I do, what I use for skincare. All these people were getting all these injections and different things. Like I was not doing all of that natural healing. Okay, so they were jealous of that. Many people, yeah, very jealous of that. Okay, um, they they saw me get cancer and it healed. Yep, they thought it was another woman because they had her, they had other women in my alias, and um. They thought it was them coming up with these cures. It was not them. They came out with little recipes. That's not the recipe. They didn't realize that my body was already immune to cancer. It would heal. The things that I would take was because that just what I took to take care of myself. My body was immune to all of the diseases and everything. So they wanted to make it look like it was me that had this and that. Nope. Any disease that came, it would, it wouldn't, I wouldn't even have any symptoms. I wouldn't have any symptoms of it. So that was me. Okay. They saw melatonin, melatonin. What is it? Me uh, melatonin, not melatonin, but you know, the, the cancer, skin cancer. Yep. My hair started falling out. 
it, I go white, black um, spots on my on my skin. All of a sudden, I start praying. It went away, vanished. They saw it vanish on live camera. What the heck is that? They saw it vanish. Okay, all of these people this year caught cancer. They had to get surgery and all that over their face. Yep, off of their face, off of their skin. They saw it leave me. So they said, this is the one. Let's take her and spread this out all over. We can heal the world. Yep, my hair was falling out. I prophesied, I said, if a woman keep messing with me, her hair going to start falling out. I said, if they keep messing with me, she going to get cancer. I said that because they were playing in an identity. They were shifting it around. And I said, they're going to start losing their hair, messing with me. That's about to happen. That's about to happen. Okay. All of this stuff. The cocaine. They was doing cocaine in my identity. I'm I'm uh I'm blowing it out. It didn't stick to me. They was doing heroin. Blowing it out. It didn't stick to me. That's her. Look at it. We looking at they were looking at the chart. It's gone. It's vanished. So they thought this was some other person. No. No, no, no. They were watching the, the, the ginger, me doing the ginger and the lemon. They was juicing all this stuff. They they copied everything I was doing. They started businesses and health stuff. I didn't even start up my app and stuff yet. They blocked me from even starting up an app. Every time I would put my skincare, my natural skincare, that's about to heal people from their mental uh, illnesses and stuff. Naturally, they would shut down my account. I have not released nothing new yet for a reason. I'm waiting. That it been up. The woman online, they, she copied her whole skincare. She copied the whole colors in the Queen, got Queens and Kings collection. Copied everything from me. Copied the counseling service. Copy everything. Wait, they waiting for me to come out with a new copy the uh the fitness business. They waiting on me to come out with something new. I have not released the check. So they thought they I put something out on purpose, the Freedom Canvas, and I said it was going to be an app for community. All of a sudden, they think they copying that. That's not even it. It's a whole nother situation that's about to happen with this. Yep. So I have not put it out yet. They're waiting. They need me to be under a camera so they can steal from me for another two years and come up high. I told you, I said these people are going to rise. All their business is going to go up. Yep, you're going to see it next six months. They music, all this stuff. They shut down my um my my music. I did not put, I was supposed to put Joker out again. I did not put Joker out again for a reason. Joker remix. I did not put it out for a reason because it's not time yet. The person that's supposed to be in my life is not in my life or was not in my life. That's why I did not release it. Yep, I did not release it again. I released, I was bargain. That's still going on. Okay. I did not release the album yet on purpose. It's about to release. It's about to release. So they're waiting. They're waiting for me to release something new. They saw what this music was going to be. This song, how it was going to blow up. It's not even this. I'm waiting. Okay. I'm waiting. So yeah, a lot of these people are trying to see what's coming next for me. I'm sitting here like this. I'm not chasing nothing. I'm not doing none of that. I have already had a penthouse. I have already, I'm, that's over with. People was walking around saying, my name is not Alice. Forbes is going to be investigated too. I told you guys for that. Forbes, for some reason that came to me. Forbes. Okay. Yep. They, I told you they can't put me on Forbes. It's too much money. It's way over trillions of dollars. It's too, they can't put me on Forbes. But there's a lot of people they're lying about their finances because they wanted to be on Forbes before time. Most of their stuff is stolen land and properties. You're gonna find it out. That's gonna come out. Shout out to Forbes. Shout out to Frost Bank. Okay. Shout out to Amazon. Shout out to a Walmart. Okay. Love Walmart. Love McDonald's. Shout out to McDonald's. But yeah, no. <laughs> I do not have any people and none of that stuff. Anything that I own, I did not pass it down to anyone else. But myself, right? The Royal Marie Rodriguez, August 20th, 93. Confirmation, okay? This is what you're going to find out. They got me looking like I passed down all of this. I didn't pass down anything. I didn't give anyone a billion dollars. I didn't give, I didn't tell people to take my money and go donate it to someone else. I didn't, I'm not doing that, okay? So these people that's doing that, that's not me. That's what you're going to find out.
There's no husband walking around here that I was married to and divorced. I was not married. These are fake and false marriages that they put in other countries that's about to come out. These people in India, Dubai, they don't own they don't own that land. People are walking around sitting in mansions in Nigeria. They do not own that land. Okay, you're gonna find that out. You're gonna find out all of this stuff. You're gonna find out the sex trade that's going on in other countries that they still selling me around as small children that's going and they selling me off to young, no, to older men. You're gonna find that out too, okay? You're gonna find out, you're gonna see my bohemian culture, okay? I'm not gonna say other cultures, okay? There's some Russian culture. And there's some Taliban culture and there's some Indian culture. I'll say that. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go into the other thing yet. Because a lot of people, you say German and all this, they'll go and thinking that's them. No, 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 no. All of those people are involved in some mess. Okay. I'm not a Stephanie. That's what they thought. I am not a Smith. Very, very important. Okay. Very, very important that I say this. Highly, highly important. I'm not a Smith. Okay. No offense, because they're awesome, great Smiths, but I am not a, a Smith. But this is what they needed me to be. Okay, I told you guys that. Very, very important. You're not seeing me running around, riding horses, and with the birds on my arms and stuff. That's what they waiting on. You're not seeing that now for a reason. I do not have a, a mother named Rhonda or a father named Muhammad. No, that's stolen land in territory they need me to marry someone in an arranged marriage so they can get a throne that's not theirs it was a stolen thing that they need me to connect to so the goal is to sell me in a ransom put me on the back of a plane tied up like a calf and ship me off to another country and get rid of me this is the plan this wrap of my head is very significant okay it's from another country Yep, it's very significant. Today, when I go on the street, not yet, around this time, it ain't happened yet. It was, a, it was a, it, you see this, and it was a particular way that it was hanging. They saw that. Okay, so yes, you will see this. Most, this is the men probably wear it like this. I'm wearing it like this for a reason. Okay, <coughs> very, very important. So pay attention to everything, everything that I got on. It's significant. Okay. Am I, am I wearing it? Is somebody controlling me to put it on? No. They not. Okay. Very, very important for, for me to tell you guys. Okay. I already prophesied. I said the diet was going to change. They saw all of it. They copying. They're trying to figure out how to make the food. Everybody going, eating it. That's a part of the mission. That's a part of the assignment to see. People waiting for the only fan page to post. Yep, it's a bunch of people with OnlyFans. Uh, they got masks on and all these women doing all kind of stuff in my identity. All right. They waiting for me to post the OnlyFans, sell my feet or sell whatever they got, whatever they got me looking like in this timeline. That's what they waiting on. They waiting for the sugar baby account. Everybody waiting. I'm trying to tell you. They waiting for the uh for the uh the contracts with Playboy. They got they giving contracts to other men. Yeah, they thinking I'm a man right now. No, no, no. Because they selling me around as a man and a woman. Very, very important. They selling me around as men and women. They not selling no man around. Yeah, it's men that's involved. In, they selling, you know, physically men and women. But they, they're selling me around as an escort, as a man or woman, pawn stalls, or in my identity having sex, making millions of dollars. They got me cuddling and hugging men that I don't even know in Las Vegas. Okay, all this stuff is illegal. About to get busted down. So this is serious. They got me at multiple sex parties in their foursomes and threesomes and orgies. They saying, who is that? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So this is serious right now. They're sacrificing me over and over as animals, goats, chickens, children, sex sacrifices. All of this is coming out in the next six months. Okay, to get power. They, every time they, they hurt, every time they say they beat a woman in my identity, she bleed, they go upper rank. It's They got, they got me in a gang uh, situation, initiations. They got me in sororities and fraternities. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. 
this is serious. This is big. They got me in uh, military, FBI, shit. they got me in their initiations, okay? They not going through this. These people not getting through the Navy. No, they not getting through that. They putting my tail there and they getting through. They putting me in medical schools and, and putting me and, and they getting approved. They're not doing it themselves. They're jumping, they're putting me in identities of gang members and they beating them up and jumping them into gangs and they getting teardrops and they ain't did nothing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They would have died. You kicked and beat on them for, for six minutes. 100 people beating and kicking on you. Yep, that's what they're doing. When I go on the street, there was a gang member. Pay attention to this. When I go on the street, there was a gang member. Came to me. This about to be a whole case. Came to me. He said, hey, like he knew who I was. Yep, this is a gang. He came to me, he said, hey. He had a, it was a, a he was a gang symbol. This all for investigation purposes. He said, hey, he came to me. I was dressed like a woman. He knew I was a female. He pulled out a notebook. He said, these all this, these all this, the people that signed, I said, what is this? He said, oh, this, this, uh, this just some, I'ma call this this. So it was some, it was a gang. I'm telling you, they had been already initiating me, killing me and other people identity. You about to find that out through technology. I said, what is this? Pay attention. I said, what is this? I didn't have no shades on. It's very important. He said, uh, this something, something. He said, sign here. I signed there. I'm telling you, undercover. It's not no game. They thought I was, they got, they had me in Crips, Bloods, and all these games. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And I'm sitting here, and I ain't doing none of that. But see, this is why all these gangs, all these drug lords, yeah, these people knew who I, these drug wars and stuff, they knew who I was. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's a woman, there's women in my identity posing, calling, I'm Marie, I'm kill you, walking around slapping. That's my tail with a thong on, slapping my, my tail and, and doing this to people. But no, it's a woman out there killing people with a bunch of men. All right. And she thinking she bad for real and she not doing nothing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But I'm showing you what they were doing in this identity. Yeah. They knew when I go on the street. They had men coming up to me with knives, okay, trying to fight me. And I'm telling you, I'm in their face. I'm not no dude. I'm not your wife, for real. They knew. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I signed that initial. These people, they, they was in hell already. They didn't even see they was in hell. That's what I'm trying to tell you. A constable is involved. This is why they running around chasing me. I'm not, see, people have me looking like I'm randomly, yeah, yeah, I, I can, you you mess with me, you can fall out dead for real. But see, I'm not walking around here in a, in a in, they have me looking like I'm walking around here in some bad energy or some bad, oh, she, she about, about to turn dark, I'm telling you. She gonna turn dark, we scared. She about to start having guns. You don't give her a gun, she gonna kill her. That's what they got me looking like. Because they scared, because they know if I, it's time for me to defend myself, that's it. And it's not even with no gun, I'm telling you. I was walking around with a sword. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They know it's not, it's, I don't, they know it's not no gun. So they said, oh, we're going to send these men to beat her up and break her down. Okay, she weak. That's what they thought. So they were sending in this intelligence, they were sending... Uh, let's say one man, one man was fighting me. It was six men, big old men. But see you, I wouldn't see the men. So, I, but I know it was it was bigger men. Yeah, killing people, they throwing people off of buildings and stuff. All this stuff about to come out. Yeah, Holiday Inn is significant. Yeah, they walking around. I'm telling you. See, this culture is multiple cultures. But this culture that they really scared of, don't play. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Very trained. Trained in all type of martial arts. Okay, they saw me, they saw me moving that stick around when I was in that penthouse. They saw me twirling that stick. 
and I was twirling that broom and twirling that stick around and I wasn't even, I wasn't twirling it. I was twirling it fast, but I wasn't twirling it how they saw it was about to be. <clears throat> I'm telling you how they saw it was about to be is multiple cultures, but they saw me twirling that broom around. I'm telling you that was me twirling that broom. Around. I thought that was somebody else. That wasn't nobody else. That wasn't nobody else. They saw that. They saw me doing them workouts. What was I doing? Them bear crawls? They thought that was somebody else doing them bear crawls out there on the uh, grass in the penthouse. That wasn't nobody else doing them bear crawls. That was me jumping and doing them things. And all of a sudden, there was a woman. She had to copy the same thing I was doing. They was calling, walking around here calling me a Letitia. That's not me. That's not my mother. Mm -hmm. They had me looking like a Haley. Or whoever this little fitness trainer, they wasn't doing nothing. I mean, they got their own apps. That's great. You get what I'm saying? Well, fitness. But now I was doing some stuff they ain't seen before. I was all outside doing some stuff they ain't seen before. I'm doing football stuff. Because, you know, football players used to do ballet. Okay? But they training. So, yeah. That's what I was doing. I'm doing some stuff that they, not, they ain't seen before. Okay? They had me looking like I was an old woman walking around here, 70 years old, 60 years old. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And there's some people that are 70, 60 years old, and they are very, very healthy. And I've seen them walking around here. Very healthy. They got muscles. They got six packs. They walking around here. I would run on that trail mill. They thought that was a man running. They waiting. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They thought I was a man running. No. I would be running. They would have people that would drop into me that was bigger to try and drop in and slow me down okay that's what you were seeing in that intelligence but i would be running and working out i would run and i didn't even run that long see they looking back to the time when i was in the gym when i was in the gym uh at 18 years old they looking back when i used to run on 5.1 5.0 and i would run 10 minutes straight 5.0 sweating my chest was a lot smaller real real muscular i went from 140 pounds really thin to 160 okay five six i was five six sometimes i might show up as five five okay that's for a reason that's not nobody else i can still fit a size seven sometimes but no i'm a 10 all right so pay attention to that that's very very a 10 very very important i wear a bigger shoe but i could squeeze into another size that's important but yep so i was running and I would run from five minutes. That's when I was big, about 240 pounds. I would only do five minutes. Then I went to 10 minutes. I've been doing 10 minutes on a treadmill since I, for the last 10 years. I do not like running the treadmill though. I prefer to run outside. If I'm running outside, you'll probably only, I probably only do two miles. I'll probably finish in 30 minutes. Okay. That's it. It ain't nothing big. But around that particular time in the penthouse, I was on a 4.0. I was still, I was about 200 pounds. Okay. They waiting. They trying to see what I'm away to figure out what I weigh now. I didn't shifted it around because what they thought is not what they thought. This is why they thought I was a guy. No, I was, a, I was a female. I've been a female. They thought I was a guy running because I had them shades on. So the men would come in and try to be on the treadmill. When I was on the treadmill, they would come and sit in the gym when I was in there. Yeah. Cause they wanted to show that that was them. I would run. I would get on the other workout machine. I was not doing pull-ups. Very important. I was not doing pull-ups. That's not me. That's a guy doing pull-ups. Okay. They probably in my identity doing pull-ups. Very important. I was not doing pull-ups. Now, I did do pull-ups um, years ago. Probably like two. But it's another workout that I would do that would help my chest. It wasn't no pull-ups though. It was, I wasn't doing pull-ups. I was doing... um these underarms was up and i was doing these okay i would run i would do these i would do um yeah not no bends that's not me i would do these and i would do i wasn't doing no pull-ups though you didn't see me doing no pull-ups in the gym nope you didn't see me doing no pull-ups i wasn't doing pull-ups that's how i know that's not me i wasn't doing no pull-ups okay they don't want to hear that I wasn't doing no pull-ups. I was doing lifting. I was doing Pilates. 
okay not in a not in a uh i was not doing pilates in a class i do my own home pilates so i say i don't do yoga i do pilates for a reason okay but, but i do the movements of it's, it looked like it's yoga because it's a movement, but it's Pilates, right? I have my own personal routine, my own personal strength. I have lift weights. It was my own personal routine, okay? But I was not in no Pilates class. No. I did ballet. That's what I thought because I had ballet shoes on in my in my uh, penthouse. And I was doing barre, all right? Very, very important. So, yeah, Pilates, how I was stretching and stuff. They would watch me from that camera and they was over there watching me through the through the uh, windows while I was doing my workouts. I would do two a days, one in, sometimes in the morning, 7 p.m., 7 a.m. in the morning, 7 p.m. Sometimes I would get up at 12 a.m., 4 a.m. I'd be in the gym, okay, working out. This is what they're trying to see, okay? They trying to see, well, you ain't work out, you ain't working out yet. You're not running yet. When I was in the penthouse, I wasn't running outside. Very, very important. When I was in that high rise apartment, I was not running outside. I did not running out. I only ran outside when I got off the street. I went into the hospital and I was running five to 10 laps a day. After my run, I would say this game. That's what I would say. I'm a female. Okay. I was not a Britney or none of these basketball players. Nope, nope, nope. I would say this game and you would hear me say, and I would say it in my head. I would not say it out loud. I would say it in my head because in the place I was talking out loud. I would say this game and I would say LOL. That was me the whole time. Okay. So they thought because I was saying this game, they thought I was, you know, probably a basketball player. You get what I'm saying? No, I would sit there. I would do 10 laps a day. Every break we had fresh air break, I would do five laps. Not all the time. Sometimes I would be under the tree doing Pilates. Okay, or doing some type of workout. I would be doing ballet and stuff in there. I was a lot smaller, okay, than I am now. Very, very important, okay? I was always dehydrated at three in the morning. I was drinking water all day. I ate three meals a day. It was, uh, uh what was it? I had a gluten and dairy free diet. I did not, I hate to eat that gluten, the bread. I hate to being on my diet, but I'm glad I stuck to it. And sometimes I would eat other people's tray because I didn't want to eat what I, I, it wasn't affecting me. Not having dairy and gluten wasn't affecting me. But I, so I did like eating the other stuff. Okay, very, very important. So I'm not none of these people walking around here. I was single. Okay. But I did meet someone in the hospital that I did take like to, but I knew that it was agents and stuff that was going to try and mess it up. Okay. Very, very important. It was so many people in the person alias. Yep. I seen that. They had so many people in my alias trying to get the other people to hook up together. Ain't that crazy that they need to hook up other people through you? That's crazy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They was, I was saying Anna on purpose, but the little person I said, shh, no, I said, I'm Deborah. Okay. But they, they think I'm crazy. Okay, they calling me Anna because they got me looking like I killed myself and all type of stuff. But yeah, this is my story. Uh, but no, I ain't do none of that. Okay, they lie. All right. So they trying to steal some inheritance. I would tell a dude I'm undercover. People was calling me crazy. Talking about I'm under. Yeah, they was calling me crazy. They was like, I was showing them pictures of me on uh, Google. The nurses, it was a nurse named Esther. It was another nurse. I forgot what her name is. She was so jealous. Um, so jealous. Okay, we got the cars parked over here. They think that's me parked over here. They parked by, who they parked by? A Jazzy or a Jasmine? Yeah, that's not me. But they all sitting and parked by each other. So she was so jealous. She was so jealous. And whoever would drop into her was so jealous. Okay, so jealous. All right, I think I got, I ended up getting a cut on my finger. I had to get some medicine for my finger. <clears throat> Something like that happened. But yeah, she was so jealous, okay? And Esther, they was all watching and stuff. They were looking at me on Google and they were saying, that's not you, that's you. I didn't have no makeup on. They was like, that's not you. Let me drive it all for a reason, okay? They was like, that's not you. And I said, no, that's me. I heard people saying, I'm looking for the woman that had the studio. That was me that had the studio. You get what I'm saying? That was me that had the studio. It's a lot of people sitting in the parking lot, so I'm driving off for a reason, okay? But that's me that opened my studio at 21 years old. 
Yep. That's me that had the counseling service that was an author already and they had me in the place. They didn't know that though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They thought that I was dead and they was controlling and doing everything, trying to control me. That's what, that's what I made them think. Okay, because this whole time, now this whole investigation going on, they looking like, uh, they looking crazy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They was calling me a Joseph, an old man. Had me talking about I was looking like I was married to a Greg or whoever they had me married to. All these people. I didn't know these. I didn't know these people. But I let it ride. Okay, because I knew it was what I needed to see now. All right. They were saying my name was spelled like a Mary. Okay. No, my name, I, that name is a Marie, M-A-R-I-E. Okay. So they tried to change it. I saw years ago they tried to change it they know what the name is on my birth certificate they tried to change it to amari m-a-r-i yep that's not the name okay but that's what they tried to change it to but marie is actually mary okay that's like the first queen mary okay the first all right but they didn't know that they thought it was they they thought it was spelled m-a-r-i-e so you see in the documents let's say when i was a child you see in the documents if you go to the courthouse, you see how uh, whoever the person was, they tried to change the name, okay? It still ain't work. They know my, they know what my full name is now, okay? They tried to change the, uh, the name. The name Anna was an alias to protect me, okay? Very, very important. It was not the original. It was a name to protect me. That's why it was used, okay? This is the name I have now. But see, they knew the name that I have now was entitled to all of my stuff. They didn't like that. Okay. I'm not a Brock. Okay. Or none of these people. But see, this is what they thought. All right. This is what they thought. They thought I was like uh, a man who was LGBT. Yep. <laughs> They thought I was man, a man who was... Look at them driving around. They thought I was a man who was LG... <laughs> that's funny, the car driving around. They thought I was an LGBT man. Yeah, I would wear female clothes. The, the dudes would get mad. They would say, why she got me looking like that? Why she got on tights and she got me looking like... Uh, she got me looking like I'm I'm gay and all that. Yeah, the men would get... I didn't know these men. They would get mad in the... um. They would get mad in the... um in the places and shit. They would follow me around the ages. Why she got me looking like they would steal my bag, my bags she and perfume. Why she got me smelling like a, she got me looking bad. Like as if I was, like as if I was supposed to be them. They wasn't on the street. She got me looking gay or she got me looking bad. Nah, they wouldn't, they would steal my perfumes. They would steal my, my women clothes and wanted me to dress like a guy. Yeah, so you will see, you'll probably see me in intelligence when I first go out. You'll see me with a hat on. Because my, notice what I told you about my hair. <clears throat> when I told you about my hair, uh, I could not really, I could not flat iron it anymore. I didn't have nowhere to flat iron. I got kicked out the restroom from sleeping in the restroom. I could not flat iron it under the restroom anymore. So you'll see, I will wear a cap and I will wear a hood on my cap and then I will wear like a hoodie and then I'll have a jacket on the hoodie. So it was a very masculine style. I always dress like that. So let's say I got this on. I would have a hat, a beanie. And I would have it like this. Okay. Walking around like this. But no, I didn't have this scarf. It was a regular beanie. You will see that. That's when I first, when I was in there, you'll see me. I would be walking around like that. Like th I actually had this jacket, this exact one. Okay. I had a Versace long dress on. Versace. Okay, that's the same dress I had in the uh in the penthouse that I ain't paid no two thousand it was worth two thousand and some dollars. I found it at a at a uh, at like a goodwill or something. Good condition. I had on that, I had on this, and I would have you you'll see me walking around with a trench coat on, like this. Okay, that's what you'll see. You probably see me with some shades on. Around that time, they were still all the female clothes, okay? I had a few dresses left. They were still my luggage. By that time, I didn't have this. So I would have on uh, tights with a hoodie. You'll see me, then you'll see it switch to short, some like small short shorts. Because I would pick up pants from other places and you would see holy jeans. I remember I had no clothes. I was under the tunnel. I picked up some, 
I would pick, I picked up some clothes somebody left. So they thought I was this woman because I picked up the clothes that somebody left. No, I had on a, uh, some holy jeans with some lingerie. I, I was walking around with red lingerie on with some holy jeans, some glasses. And I had a green thing scarf that looked like a hijab. It was green. I was walking around with that on. Then I had some white lingerie on. I was sitting, I think on Valentine's Day, I gave some dude a lap dance and was, everybody was watching in the intelligence. Some dude that was out there, uh, was, uh, had a little thong on dancing. That's something else. But that was me. Okay. That's what I thought. That was somebody else. No, that was me. So you would see me in intelligence with a, um, a green thing on and you would see me with some shades. The shades was like squarish. That's not usually my style, but I needed something to cover my face. Okay. So the dude that was around me, yeah, it was a bunch of men in his alias, like over 3,000 men. Okay, they had women in my alias too, but they wasn't really getting through me. Okay, very, very important. But I knew they was there. So whole time undercover. Okay, so you'll see that style change. Then you'll see how I had like cargo pants, like G.I. Jane. I had a bra. The bra was crossed like this. I, I would cross it myself. And you could see my, I was a lot smaller. I was, I would show my stomach and I had cargo pants on. Okay. Then that style switched to a little white dress that I had on. Okay. I was walking around with a, with a little white dress on. So you will see me butt naked in the pools and everything, the fountains everywhere, take, trying to take a bath. Okay. So it went from this wrap to, I think around, it went, I didn't, when did I get a wig? Cur, it was curly. I think that had to be January or February, right before I went into the hospital. Yeah. January, I had a, it was a real curly wig. I would put mousse on it. The wig, the name in the wig said Vanessa. I'm not a Vanessa. But it said Vanessa in the wig, okay? But I'm not, no, I'm not a Vanessa. But it was, I would, uh, I didn't have no mousse for my hair. I would, I was around the corner. I would go to the clothing thing. It was a bunch of stuff out on the floor. I was looking. I found some perfume in there because they stole all my perfume. I found uh, some mousse for my hair. So I would use, I would go in the restroom and wet my hair and put the mousse in. I would go in the library and take a bath. Yep. So it went from that to that black curly hair. That's what you'll see. I ended up finding a corset. It, it was giving me a gypsy not the name gypsy no that's not that's not that people call me that as a nickname but that's not my first name that's not a real name but they called me that from notre dame okay the movie that's what they thought that's what they thought i was confirmation okay well that's the story yeah and it's also the story with, with elsa in the throat yeah that that story too but um so i saw i found a corset so i was walking around with a little corset on some brown pants and uh, some Chip Taylors, some black ones, okay? Yep. When I was in a penthouse, I never wore Chip Taylors. Mm -mm. I did not wear Chip Taylors until I got on, on the street. No, I did. I did have some Chip Taylors. They were gold. They were brownish and gold. I call them my Reapers. That's what I call them. The Reapers, because I was walking around. Yeah, that's a whole nother realm. But I call them my Reapers. They was gold. They was some, I did have Chuck Taylors on. They was brownish golds. You couldn't really find them nowhere else. Limited edition, but they was really old, okay? And they was used, but they was some Chuck Taylors and they had glitter on them, okay? Gold and they had glitter on them. So people would try and copy those shoes, okay? Um, I call them my Reapers. I, I no longer got them because of the memories and, and shit. So, excuse me. So I ended up getting uh, black ones. And then you saw, you'll probably see me walking around with some boots. It was some male boots. I call them my Anastasia boots, okay? Because that's the name. Yeah, that's the name they calling me, okay? That didn't go everybody into a lot of trouble and stuff, all right? Clear broke from the timeline. So that's what they, um, I call them my boots. So when I, every time I would post the boots or a new shoe, they would steal my shoes and walk around in them. If I posted a new, a new shoe or a new thing, they would steal it. If I posted a new hat, they would steal it. They were still my robe. I was you saw me, you would see me walking around with a um it's a burgundy robe, it got roses on it. You saw that in my penthouse, that's the same robe. 
you'll see it in intelligence that somebody stole it. They probably walking around with it. They got a little belt on it. They took it. They took it when I was in the mental hospital. Okay. That's when they took it. it all of a sudden, my it was out missing out my luggage. Okay. You'll probably see me in a intelligence on the street drinking a Voss water bottle. I'm not smoking no cigarettes though. Mm -mm. Not in that realm in 2022 until probably maybe January. So when I first got out there in February, I was not smoking no cigarette. Mm -mm. They had cigarettes on my uh, medical record. I said, I don't smoke. They had weed on it. I said, I don't smoke no weed. Okay. I had not ever touched a cigarette ever until that January. I was 29 years old. I think uh, and I was not pressured to do it. I just did it. Okay. And I wanted to see what's going to come out. Okay. I tried an electronic cigarette, but it didn't do nothing. But no, I never, I was not smoking cigarettes. Okay. So yeah. And when you see me smoking cigarettes or something, it's for investigation purposes. It's not, it's not an addiction. It's, it's for me to show you. So everybody walking around here, they own, they addicted to cigarettes. Okay. That's what, they, that's what they thought. They saw that. Okay, I should, probably should be, but no, because uh, all the cigarettes they done did, yeah. So you probably see cigarettes, y'all probably see me in intelligence smoking cigarettes in movies and acting and different things like that. You probably see that, but it's not an addiction. Okay, I'm not addicted to alcohol. You're not seeing me as a drunk. I do not drink whiskey. I probably had a whiskey burger. You'll probably see me drinking maybe a champagne or a wine. I I do not like no margaritas. Okay, I ain't had a, I ain't drink no margaritas for no 29 years. Recently, at 30 years old, I tried a margarita. I made my own margarita, okay? Because I'm not I, I margarita was not the alcohol that I liked. Champagne, Moscato, you'll see. Rum, okay? There's a, there's a particular rum that I that you will see that I've drank and I mix it. I had it mixed up when it's mixed that I like it. It's a particular rum, the one y'all showing. That's not me. I ain't drank no rum in uh yeah, I ain't drank no rum in a few years. So that's not me. I have not got a rum punch. It was a rum punch that I had that somebody made years ago. I liked it, so I would make it probably like yeah, it's, it was a while ago. So yeah, you're not gonna see no rum in a, in this out here on the street. Um, what else? Champagne, Moscato, uh, champagne only, not not so much. Uh, you you will see that pink Moscato, okay. This ain't on. This is just in the last few years, all right. This is in the last few years. They trying to see what color that I was. You'll see grape grape uh, sparkling grape juice, well cheese. You'll see apple cider, sparkling grape juice, sparkling um the white and red. All right, you'll see I drank that all the time. And in 2020, 2021, it's all in these Mediterranean restaurants. Okay, you'll see that. You'll see, uh, you know, type of like uh, Italian foods and different things like that. So they're trying to copy everything. Okay, that's what you'll see. But you're not seeing all of this stuff. I recently went, somebody was it took me uh, to some fish places and I wasn't eating that. That was the first time I ate some of those places. Uh, catfish. I was not eating. Okay. No, I think I tried catfish. Had to be over ten years ago. I just tried it again with somebody. A baked potato. You probably see me having a in my penthouse. I had a. I made chicken tenders. Um, chicken tenders. Sweet potato fries and uh, broccoli and cheese. Some dude copied that same thing because he had another woman in my alias that made it for him. That wasn't me that made it for him, but it looks like I, I made it for him because I was sitting over there. You can see how they would shift my identity. The women would be cooking. I'm not the woman that ride. I'm not the woman that drive in the bins. Okay, that's not me. Nope. They was copying the uh, the rose face wash and stuff that I would put on the oil pulling. Okay, you see me waxing my face in the timelines or waxing somebody else's face. Yep, the person that came in the uh, penthouse that came to visit was an Esther. Okay, but all of these people were in her alias. There was a Stephanie pretending to be. All these people was in the alias of her. Okay, Esther is not, they find out Esther is not biologically related to me, but she was raised around me as a child. 
Okay, very, very important. But they were dropping it to her alias, getting her to argue and do all that stuff with me. It was crazy. You get what I'm saying? But uh, she would visit me, um, you know, come and yeah, they wanted me to look like I was just evil and going crazy. No, that's not what it was like. Okay. So yeah, I currently do not have anyone that come and stay with me. If they stay, they have to go in a, in a hotel. Yeah, I do not drive a Benz, okay? So we showing who was in this alias trying to pretend as they were some sister or sibling. All of them was trying to pretend like they were some siblings, okay? They was copying all my stuff, giving me problems, okay, through this particular person. This person was screaming, saying, you're gonna be on, you're gonna have schizophrenia. You're gonna have schizophrenia, causing me issues. I don't have schizophrenia. But we seeing what they was doing. They was using people around me to come in my place and give me issues. So you you will see me waxing uh you will see me waxing her face and waxing her stuff. I do not have PCOS. Yep. Nobody in nobody in I never had PCOS. Okay. When you see you seeing everybody shaving their face, you probably see me shaving my face. Yeah, shaving my face. Over the last 10 years, I never had to like really shave my face. Okay. But around a particular time recently, I, you will see me. You, that's why you see the little people spraying the white stuff and they send all the hair on their face. Yeah, you see me shaving my face because of the hair. Okay. But no, it's not because of PCOS. All right. All these other people are getting diagnosed with PCOS because they're not, no offense to a person who has PCOS, no offense, but because they're in this alias of a person that's actually not alive, okay? But they want this person to be alive, and this is why they cannot have children, okay? I can have children. Very, very important, okay? But this is why they kept doing voodoo and trying to kill the children, uh, because they were jealous, okay? Uh, very, very important. Esther does not have PCOS, all right? Nope. It, was, it has something to do with, like, a lot of stress, probably weight, but no. She don't have PCOS, okay? I don't have PCOS. Just because you got hair on your face don't mean you got PCOS. I was still getting a period every month. Even when I was pregnant, I was getting a period. They didn't know what was going on, okay? It was for a reason to hide it, all right? So, yeah, all of this stuff they was doing, I was still getting a period, okay? So, if I don't have a period, it's not because I have PCOS. It's because I'm pregnant, okay? And I can be pregnant and have a period. Very, very important. Okay, if I'm if I'm not having a period, it, it's most likely that, um, yeah, it could still mean pregnancy. All right, very very important. But if it's if it's being hidden, yeah, I'm gonna have that period, especially when I have a whole bunch of uh, hits on me. <laughs> okay, because I would go into the hospital, they was looking, uh, they were it was a lot. All right, very very important. So I know how to take supplements that can stop my period and get my period to go on very very important and you don't have to have birth control to you don't have to be on a birth control to get your period to stop and come back on okay there's 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 a way you could take supplements to get your period to stop and come back on and it don't have it doesn't have to mean you're pregnant all right but yeah I can have children very very important so when they're seeing pregnancies in the timeline and they're trying to figure out what's going on okay and these people had me looking like i couldn't have children and all of this that's not my story all right very very important so i wanted to share that with you guys today this is episode three i'm going to share small snippets of um what i did today to share with you guys what i did today okay so yes again you probably see this with a cap then it's going to switch to you're going to see my head with this hijab looking thing as green tied up like this and then you're going to see uh a cap a cap with the hijab kind of looking scarf and then you'll see a cap with a scarf it's not this scarf it's like a small scarf that tie up like this in shades like a like a regular scarf you'll see that probably got some flowers purple flowers on it and it tie up right here and they got shades, okay? Not the long scarf, but just a regular one. You'll see that too in the timeline. It switched that. I'm the same person though. So they thought I was all these different, you know, I, I understand the aliases, but no, that was me. All right, so they seeing that. So when I would have a particular scarf, they didn't like that. Okay, if I didn't have a scarf on, they thought I was somebody else. All right, very, very important. So yeah, you'll see that. 
you'll see the clear, the clear glasses. If they're trying to be me, they'll put on some clear glasses. Everybody walking around with them clear lens. Okay. I don't have no clear, clear lenses now. Recently, every time I would put on some glasses, my stuff would come up missing. Okay. Almost like didn't want me to cover my eyes and face. Like we need to see you so we can suck the life out of you type stuff. People was on the street. We got her soul today. I mean, it's like they walking around talking about we got her soul. They spitting and stuff like that's cute. You happy that you spitting out poison? You happy that you about to be spitting out blood for real? And I'm not about to be about to be spitting out blood, but you all, you happy about that? That's crazy that you, that you want that. <laughs> you want that to be spitting out blood from the poisoning and stuff that happened to me that I'm not talking about. That's the reason why my face and all that doing all of that, but it's, it's detoxing. That's what you want. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that's what they want. I'm guessing that's what they want. So when they walking around and when they spit, they thinking, Oh, I'm hurt today. You happy that now you addicted to a cigarette or you addicted to whatever it is you addicted to because this is what they were doing this is not what i was doing this is what they were doing in my identity so yeah smoking a cigarette does not mean you're a bad person or mean i'm addicted to a cigarette yeah there's times where i be like man i want a cigarette <laughs> nerves bad <laughs> but i don't have to sm uh, smoke a cigarette i can see but they see that okay they see they see where that came from you understand what i'm saying and they see it was not an addiction. There's times where I'm like, man, forget everybody. And then I want a smoothie. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of I, I want a smoothie or I drink a detox instead of the cigarette. But it's not an addiction. OK, if you see the cigarette, it's, it's an investigation. OK, or it's something that I'm showing all of a sudden all these people come out. They smoking cigarettes. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So because it's supposed to look like I'm all over the place. All right. When a per when I'm sitting here and a person run by, it's because they trying to drop in and listen to what's going on. Sometimes, let's say I'm sitting here, they I earlier I was driving. Some dude was like trying to make it look like he was telling me where to go, like he was like doing this, and I'm looking like I sat here and I said, "Oh no, you can go." He got mad because I told him he could go. He wanted he wanted to show whatever woman that. He was me telling me where to go. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? So I was like, look at this food. That didn't dropped in. Okay. It's not the actual person. Look at this. Look at this food that didn't dropped in. Okay. Got him looking like he telling me when I when to leave and wake up in the morning. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? So stay tuned, pay attention, just pay attention. Okay, I'm gonna show you all of it. I'm gonna show you how, let's say I slept in certain places. Get up. They'll send the, I'm gonna show you how they would send the police. Yeah, they would send the police randomly out of nowhere. I didn't wanna sleep by somebody. They would send the police. They, Cause they felt if I slept or sat by somebody, they thought we was together. Cause there was so many people and I had people trying to hit me. Stay, you need to stay with him. You need to stay. And that was a whole nother older person. And I would walk and sit somewhere else. You would see a little rain cloud that would just follow me around. Yeah, they was using the intelligence to send little rain clouds and all that. Yeah, they, they like, yeah, we know she controlled the weather. She not mad today. We not getting no snow. They was walking around. This woman said, she gonna bring the snow. I was outside. They told me she gonna bring the snow. I said, who is that? He said, oh, this ISIS. I said, there ain't no ISIS. <laughs> and I said, well, let's see her bring some snow then. I said, it's, I looked at him. I said, it ain't snowing. No, it's not snowing this winter. Did not snow. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Did not snow. They said, oh, it's a snowstorm coming. I started laughing. I said, it's not snowing. They put us all in the warming centers and all that, making it look like it was going to be. Ain't no snow come. I said, where the snow was? I said, well, I said, she didn't bring no snow. I said, that ain't no ISIS and you definitely not no Osiris. Osiris, right? Y'all ain't, I said, that's not true. And I said, I don't need nobody warming me up. I get hot and cold. They would put a little person by me every time. When they would see the temperature rise, they'll put a little person in my identity to kind of cool it off. Yeah, I, no, I can do that myself. 
but they wanted it to make it they wanted it to look like i needed i always needed somebody on the side of me like a twin or something okay no that wasn't that somebody from louisiana okay yep we got a honda walking around here name could be trey all right that's not me but we seeing who what they was trying to do okay so now they saw let's say they saw the feminine part of my soul two years ago they said oh no this is a masculine part of the soul this is still her but we gonna we gotta steal this now because we feel like we passed around her as a feminine we gotta take her yeah crazy i'm still here you get what i'm saying but this is the sad part about it yeah they had me they had me walking around like i was a woman with a kid walking around here no nah, it wasn't no kid i was physically out here with nope that's what they seeing okay they probably seeing in the future me having a child okay i don't you don't see no physical child now but they see a pregnancy and they see a birth coming okay and that's what they trying to uh that's what they trying to show okay what's gonna happen is she going to be a single mom who is the dad who is the biological gene of this a child okay this is what they're trying to figure out to see oh well this is the guy that's gonna get no no that's not it that's not it they're trying to figure out who is my dad and mom that's what they want to see they want to try and go see who is the mom and dad of me in 2024 right this person that came back that been here and let's say they they took me and i'm here again that's me that's the parents okay that's my dominant gene still but see they don't they don't want to accept that okay so that's what you're going to see they was walking around thinking i was a tj okay all this i had they was thinking i had a son or this was going to be the father it was all kind of stuff rumors okay no offense but i just listened to it i let people I watched it, okay, when I was out on the street. So I'm showing you guys the backstory of me, the commentary of what was going on, and I'm showing you the backstory of what was actually going on, okay? They probably like, oh, you look like this dude. It's got to be your twin or sister. No, he could have been sitting in my alias. That's probably why you think we look alike. He probably got me in his alias, so he started looking like, you know, uh, getting the same food I get. So he he think he a twin. That's not me though. So this is what you're seeing okay but let me end this here thank you guys for listening this is part three part three okay part three of what's going on you guys i like this today this is cute i changed it and i had it like this earlier but it's another way that i wear it it's like a uh almost like a tur not a turban but it's like a uh like this and it come down that's what I had when I first came out. And I, well, not when I first came out, but a little bit later. So they said, they thought it was a, uh, they thought it was a past life. Because when I go on the street, I say, yeah, I look like that. I said, how did lady all covered like that? Yeah. And I said, but I'm not Muslim though. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So like, well, what are you? You'll see. You get what I'm saying? It's a reason why I was dressed a, a particular way okay and you see this part of as to how i had to cover myself because of so much people trying the stalking the attachments okay the obsessive like i want to be you you get the obsessive envy you understand and then you'll see how i was i wore long clothing but it was not because i was trying to cover or hide because you see it shifts from long clothing to booty shorts in the winter time i'm telling you i was walking around with high socks and shorts high socks or knee knee socks and shorts okay and shoes if i had when i was in the penthouse i was working out with nike shoes i gave those shoes away okay they stole them shoes i gave some other shoes away and then you see um how i was walking around with little boots on okay shirts on boots on different little things on okay you'll see that too but i i um wanted to have feminine clothing but they were still the feminine clothing for me, okay? They were still the feminine clothing. They wanted me to look like, like a feminine male. No, it's not me as a feminine male. It's it's a me of a woman that has both a masculine and a feminine 
uh everybody has masculine and feminine traits but it's me having a you like a, a lot of people might say adrogynous okay years ago i used to brush my teeth in the showers and i thought i was the only one okay mm -hmm. until i met this woman she was very very tall she had big hands okay um she was very very tall she had big hands and she was in in her country she was a construction worker okay and um i was like wow you know i had never met someone who had she had very big hands but she was married to you know a man she used to wear a short haircut okay yep she used to wear a short haircut and uh she used to brush her teeth in the shower so when i went to her place i said you brush your teeth in the shower too and she said yeah I, oh we, we both do you get what i'm saying and her and her husband she's they said we both do i said oh i thought uh i thought uh i was the only one you get what I'm saying? But it was not all the time, though. It was because wherever I was living, um, it was probably just a shower. So I would put my toothbrush in the shower, okay? Very, very important. I would hurry up. And sometimes when I'm, uh, I'll put my face wash and everything and I'm hurrying up and get ready, especially when I was living with other people, I would brush my teeth in the showers, okay, to hurry up. Do I was doing everything in the shower. So that's what... Um, and when I say androgynous, that's a person who can be, uh, this, this could be a guy, okay, who ha who takes on feminine traits. They might like to cook. They might like to clean. They, they You see these men on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, and they clean, they, they clean, they so clean. And you would think like, oh, it's a pretty boy. Oh, you know, he got to be, he got to be, you get what I'm saying? And no, no, no. He just takes on that nurturing side of his self, right? And you see some women, they ride NASCARs, motorcycles, right? Uh, they dressing in caps and hoodies. That's me sometimes. So you would think, oh, she got to be a dyke or she have to be gay. And no, 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 no. I would wear in, in high school, I would wear ties. I would wear black, sh uh, white shirts, dress shirts. And I would wear a physical male tie. And I would wear tights and heels. You understand? Or I would wear... Um, I wore bow ties and I was always doing something. You see my cap backwards, forwards on the street. You saw me hoodies, big hoodies and clothes. Okay. Sometimes heels. Okay. I love heels. So you would, um, think, well, what is it? So yeah, that's why they was on the street. You making me look bad. Cause she got some tights on. She making me look bad. Cause they was all the, all of these men were in the alias watching everything i was doing the men and women so they were like oh that's me yeah that's me they were all competing to be with this have this spot all right that's what i'm trying to tell you okay even the music shut down my music and i'm i just started with the producer right and it's like dang give me a break you get what i'm saying i make my own beats i write my own music i produce my own music it's like, dang, give me a beat, a break. Like, you got a producer, you got big people to pay people. I wasn't paying, I was doing it myself. They saw me doing it from a laptop. I'm in there doing it myself, making a beat, singing, do, 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 doing it. It probably don't even sound the best. And I put it out, not because, oh, I'm trying to beat you in your, in your record label. I'm putting it out because this was me creating. Oh, they didn't like it. They didn't like when I would sit there and paint. I would paint pictures. Yeah. I would interpret and paint prophetic paintings. They didn't like that. No. All of a sudden, you see a woman with a, a, a easel in her place because she got to copy me. Yep. My counseling service has a small son. All of a sudden, you got somebody with the symbol of a son in a in a counseling service. So they showing how all of these people were in my identities to build up their business. Yeah, they, you saw how I was. Uh, I would print out my skincare, how I would write it down, the skincare, and I and how it was like a a, a science to the T. Yep, people were calling me uh, geniuses. You you actually know how to break down your skincare? You make this from scratch? Wow, I'm inspired. You inspire me? Yeah. So. They were jealous of that. So, so jealous of that. I started a podcast before all these people got podcasts now. I started a podcast in 2017. 
2016, 2017, 21 years old podcast. I was not wait trying to be, uh, it was in social and culture. I was not waiting to be number one. No, I did not want to be on the number one. I was on iHeartRadio. I was on Apple Music, Google Podcasts, all of this. I had already, they had six, over 16 countries listening to me. Okay. But I'm going, I have something new coming out. I got on YouTube, 16 countries listening to me. They were listening to me from Ireland, China, Canada, all over the place. And I was very young putting podcasts out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So all of these people, they, they got podcasts now, they got books. Yeah, I had already did all of that. And they was like, oh, that's not you. It was actually me. Let's do this. Let's, let's show people it was me first. No. So this is, I'm showing you guys this, this hate crime. It, and it, it happened out of jealousy. People go, see, these people, it's different from getting jealous and envious. These people were like, no, we got to remove you. We have to remove you. You you making too much. I used to have people that tell me, you need to do a comedy. You need to go into comedy. Like, you are so funny. You need to, because I used to do improvs, right? And acting and improvs. And I would impersonate people and make them laugh. And uh, I would talk to people. And they would say, you need to go into comedy. Okay? Cause, because I opened up a comedy show. But not in, in comedy, but in dance. Okay? I, used, I opened up. I did Michael Jackson. Um want to be sorting something and I got paid gigs to go into open up be a background dancer for these music artists and I didn't I, I would ask them I said what do I need to wear one guy said uh you know the short shorts I said no I don't want to do that so I was my own manager at 19 years old yep I was managing my myself <laughs> okay I didn't want an opportunity I didn't take it they kept trying to get me to go to LA I never went for a reason okay I'm glad I did not go okay yeah, I have my own record label. And then they find out now that I own 100% of another record label that all of these artists are uh, under. And they have no idea. You get what I'm saying? Many of them do, but they have no idea. Okay. So uh, a lot of these artists were teenagers. When they go until under this record label, they were small. Some of them are dead now. You understand what I'm saying? They have, they have no idea that this money to start up this record label and this contract has something to do with me giving them over a particular amount of money they use to start this up this is why they got these contracts and this is why they follow me around okay very very important i'm not for sale <laughs> i have never been for sale okay so this is what you're gonna see how they preserved and tried to do this okay they do not want me to come out and come be a, a threat to these other artists okay so they kept they wanted to keep me hidden so you're gonna see how the stalking all of this stuff happened uh, and and how obsessed, how obsessed it was. Keep in mind, I'm a no. I look like this. I'm not. Imagine me dressing up with makeup and all that. You understand what I'm saying? But yes, I am going to do my makeup and all that. Uh, but I'm showing you guys. Uh, around that time, I was in the. I was in the light years ago. Dance gigs, auditions. I was BT Soul Train Award dancer. Confirmation. I got auditions. You got they got pictures. They got choreograph choreographers like Frank Gaston and uh, uh, Chris. What's the dude name? All of them. Okay. You see me doing a disco with the Africa Afro on. Okay. They had the thing at PV. You see all of that flash mobs. I was in Christmas flash mobs. Okay. Uh, the Rockets uh, dance. Uh, team at that particular time wanted to recruit me told me I didn't have to audition okay saw me dance wanted to recruit me right away and God led me that was uh, that I needed to come out of that uh, entertainment field so I said no it's okay okay I said no it's, it's okay so I left that I audition I almost auditioned for the Houston Dynamos on the day of the audition I did not go out of nowhere okay I felt led not to to kind of turn away from the dance um you know, and then I started to go into a different type of dance, okay, to worship. Opened up my dance studio that was based around the performing arts and ministry, okay. Taught my students not just hip-hop, ballet, tap, but how to uh, use themselves as a vessel in order to bring forth uh, God's uh, glory, okay. Because I saw how when, when uh, heaven opened... And uh, I saw how powerful my movement was, okay? So I began to use poetry and dance and all this stuff to heal and deliver people, 
So my students would come in there sad and depressed. I would dance around and all of a sudden they would, you know, fall asleep or they would feel better. Okay, you'll see that. So this is what I was singing in, in tongues, okay, singing in Hebrew and Arabic. The people in the penthouse, there was a guy, he was a Persian dude. He could, he, it was, he probably understood the, the, the Hebrew or the Persian, uh, the Arabic, okay? He understood it. I saw that he understood what I was saying in the dream. Uh, they would say, they would walk by and say, I know what she's saying, okay? It was in a whole nother uh, language. But I was singing it. It's not that I was able to probably know, but I was singing, singing in another, in another language, okay? There's times where I've sung and somebody said, yeah, that's Hebrew. You say, you saying this, you just said this, you understand? So, uh, this was healing for me. You get what I'm saying? This was deliverance and it helped this help me. So all these people go upset. Okay. Everybody running around here doing this and that, which is great. It's great. But, um, this is not something that I forced. This accent was not something that I forced. No, it was not something that I pretended or forced so um yeah i'm pro people probably like you went crazy no i didn't go crazy i didn't go crazy i didn't change i knew people around me did not like me i knew they were jealous i knew it was coming already you get what i'm saying and i'm so glad it got exposed i'm glad i found out who was watching me who been following me around and it makes a lot of sense now it makes a hell of a lot of sense and i'm so glad all of this happened because this is this is oh this is going to be over it's going to be cut off okay and i'm so glad that i had to go through all of this stuff mm -hmm. i'm so glad that i had to go through all of this stuff people are running around saying i'm from new orleans or louisa i, I went to i traveled to new orleans twice okay as a nine-year-old for for retirement party and a 15 year old on a college tour and the water i i i i ished all over in that toilet yep because of because of the water i could not drink the water it's like imagine going to a lot of people say mexico this was new orleans i could not all the i'm telling you i'm on the toilet i'm sick i'm sick so I would never, if I go to New Orleans, I would not ever get a regular fountain drink. Everybody was eating crab legs and um, alligator. No, I got jambalaya. That was what I knew because that's what they used to make me at the house I lived in. They used to make uh, jambalaya and different things like that. There were certain things I'm not going to eat. She used to cook a lot of fish. Okay. But I started to make my own food because I, went, I started to. When I went back home, I started to cook my own food. You know, I was making uh, rice burgers, bean burgers. I was drinking um, spring water, okay? Because I, um, I went on a diet. I went on a particular diet. That's what they're looking at. This was probably like 15, 20, 15, 14. And I was 200, I was 200 pounds when I went on a diet. It had to be 190, 200 pounds. I had a flat stomach, but I was very heavy for what I was used to being, like 160 but i went on i always changed my diets i've been vegan i've been pescatarian okay i've been um you know let's say the diet now mediterranean i've been uh you know gluten-free dairy obviously okay yeah all of that there was a time as a ch as a child i was not eating uh i was not i did not eat pork because you know, pork was not in the diet, but it was not because of religious reasons, okay? Uh, it was, you know, but yeah, no. We ate, we ate a lot of enchiladas. We ate a lot. I loved bowls of mashed potatoes, okay? And I started to eat bacon, like, um, after I, you know, later on, I started to eat bacon and different things like that. But yeah, if it was like, if I knew somebody was giving me food that was sacrificed or like, you know, spell work on it, yeah, I wasn't eating it. Okay, it's a reason. If I do not eat a certain meat, it's a reason why I do not eat a certain meat. Okay, I do not eat lamb. Okay, I tried lamb, but I did not know it was lamb until they told me. This is when I went to New York and ate. Where did I go? So yeah, I'm not a TJ, but I went. To, but we seen we seen this in a timeline. But um, I ate when I went to New York. A friend of mine let me try. Uh, where, where do we go? We went to the Halal's. Okay, 
a 99 cent pizza that's one of my favorite places in new york uh and I, he said you want to try it i said yeah so i tried it he said it was lamb i said no i'm not eating no lamb i don't so i don't know i do not eat lamb i will get like a chicken or you know i sometimes it does grieve me the chicken and all of that it, it does there was a time i was grieved okay after having a miscarriage my shrimp started to look like fetuses i stopped eating shrimp okay but i am allergic to shrimp okay uh what was i eating at a particular time i was eating like macaroni cheese balls okay i was going to target because the target was around the corner uh from the hotel they closed down that hotel now but i would go to target usually i do not shop at target target i shop at walmart okay but during a particular time i did shop at target because it was easier for me to take the uber there from target and come back it was cheaper like five dollars okay and i was living in an extended stay <clears throat> that they closed down okay very important so that's what they're looking at i taught ballet okay in the mornings i would go to work in the mornings very very a lot thinner probably 180 pounds at that time i uh would run two miles a day i would run with a woman around the school i worked at i would taught ballet i had you know a juilliard audition around that time so yeah i stayed in a hotel okay uh, because of my, all my credit was messed up from what these people did so yeah i paid my own hotel every week during that particular time okay that was when i stayed in a hotel no i was not selling sex or any of that i was i had to survive okay so imagine having to pay a hotel every week now i would have to pay every week every day daily okay but i would pay my i would pay my hotel every week so i'm i'm dropping like nine hundred dollars a week twelve hundred dollars people were looking like where are you coming up with that money okay so yeah i was working ballet and i was running a, a publishing company okay very very important that's how i was getting the money to stay in the hotels all right i had to sleep at a bus stop one day that time because i did not have the money okay i did not have 35 dollars for the airbnb so i had to sleep at a bus stop the next day my check was exactly 35 dollars from the symphony that i worked at all right from the symphony that i worked at because i had to transfer from the houston ballet after something happened okay i had to file a uh, well it was a company in new york that was third party with the ballet uh it was a lawsuit happened because of something that happened with me that i had to leave the job and quit and then they transferred me to the symphony okay which i did not stay long all right um yeah i just did not stay long i didn't feel like starting all the way over you know going from 7.25 to 12 dollars to 15 dollars in two months at the ballet to like going to back to seven like i didn't feel like going through that okay but I, you get what i'm saying so something happened to where i don't know if it's i didn't i don't know if something happened to where i had to leave oh it was something about me not being able to get to the job or something like that anymore it was something like that that happened well i cannot no no longer work there it was something like that okay i moved that's what happened so it was something like that that happened and there was no longer there was no one on the schedule they, they didn't have any uh job for me okay so basically i went through hell not trying to say hell but i went through a lot of blockages um and then i went to another job and it was just like a lot so i constantly kept going through these blockages you get what i'm saying constantly kept going through blockages over and over and over and over all right and so i still made it through i still made it through okay this oh this documentary this part of the documentary is like two hours okay with this episode but i wanted to share with you guys what it means to actually go through something and keep moving on okay all right but you will see the people driving by okay because in in and they think that you know these people think that they me all right they think that all the stuff that i went through that that's what they went through so there's a person driving or i don't drive a kia i don't drive none of these cars okay no offense and it's not even about the cars but yeah one just flew by so uh this is i'm not with anyone that drives a kia and i'm not with anyone that drives a tesla or that has a tesla i do not drive a tesla okay no offense but shout out to tesla i love uh i i was talking to someone that did drive a tesla okay that used to pick me up in a tesla i think 
had a black Tesla and then he have a white Tesla now. I believe he's, yeah, still got a Tesla. Okay, but no, I'm not um, with anyone. I'm married to anyone with a Tesla, but I do love the Tesla car. I like that they have the automatic uh, whatever, but I have not seen that feature. But if I had a Tesla, I would definitely get that feature. Okay, with like the drive, where you can drive it uh, the self. So yeah, I do uh, like that. I also love forward. Okay, and um, yeah, as you know, so there's a lot of cool cars, BMW, Porsche, all of them. There's a lot of cars that, and there's a lot of Kias that I like. I think they got like a sports kind of one or something like that. So yeah, it's not the car or the dealership, no. But cars are very significant in this investigation and what I'm talking about. Okay, cars are very significant, you know, and they mean a, they mean a lot right now. So, um, they mean a lot. Okay, so yeah, me saying oh, that's not no, it's not saying that I do not like the car, I do not drive a Benz. Okay, but I do like the um, I do like the Benzes. The ones that I really like are the G wagons. Okay, those are the ones that they took in my my name. Uh, they stole they stole three G wagons. Okay, they stole a black one, they stole a white one, and they stole it was kind of a grayish one. Okay, these people that stole the G wagons, how they did it, they went through a particular realm and did it or identity. Okay, with the social, and then what happened is they were going, they were planning, they could be planning to do that now. They were planning to sell the car and get another bigger G wagon, G wagon or another Benz. Okay, with or cash out in the money, and this is what's going to happen is they were going to end up get getting caught for this. Okay, but yeah, I I like those. The ones that I saw they sew, those is cute. But yeah, these are $100,000 cars uh, that these people went and did. All right, so it's showing up what it did when they stole the cars. It ended up making, uh, building up my business credit, okay? Because they tried to go and take it like it was an LLC. All right, very, very important. My, my business is not um, an LLC where you can stalk from it. So they were doing it illegally. Um, they wanted to, so it looks like they're driving company cars of mine and they don't work for me. Very, very important. So what it did was it actually built up the business credit. Okay. That's what happened. It, it built up my business credit to over a million dollar, uh, and, uh, credit and assets. I'm going to talk to you. I have a whole class as to what they did in three months when they stole from me. <clears throat> my business credit went up. Yep. My business credit went up to, uh, a multi-million dollar business, in three months, 90 days, what they did, that opened up the door for me to get over. Now they can offer me $5 million in, in uh, loans from what these people stole from me, but I'm not opening no loans. Uh-uh. That's not me. I ain't got no loan in no business yet. They had PPP loans and everything. All this coming out. I did not get no PPP loan on my business. I didn't do any of that. Okay, but they did. That's what you're gonna see. So when they stole from me, my business went up. It went up to a multi-million-dollar business just from multi-million-dollar business just from them stealing from me. Okay, yep, just from them stealing from me. So you're gonna see that. I'm gonna do a class on it. As to what happened, I have a whole book. It's called Identity Crisis. So you're going to see how they switched the identity, how they stole all my stuff, put me on the street, and you're going to see what ended up happening, okay, and how it worked for the greater good. Am I opening up business loans? Nope. When I was running my business, I was paying it out of my pocket. Yep, the clients that I would get, the parents that would pay, I would take the money and create things and buy things for the place. They, they, they said, you got all of this money you can approve for. And why are you not getting it? So they went and got it, okay? You're going to find out that they're going to get uh, caught. You're going to find out the $100,000 in taxes that they owed, that they wanted to pay for me. They wanted to get me arrested for tax fraud. Very, very important. That did, That's not going to happen. That was their plan to have that happen. That is going to be clear on my end, but they're going to be arrested for it. You're going to see that. So yeah, you got people driving around company cars saying they work for me. Yep. And I said, it's, it's building up that credit. What you're going to see if, if they cash, they want the goal was to cash that car in. That was the goal. They're going to have to give that car back or turn that car back in. Okay. 
they might be able to trade it. But they gon' they about to catch what they gonna do when they gonna trade it. But they expecting to cash it in and get like hundred thousand. No, they are gonna get caught on the spot, okay? And when they try and trade it in, they are gonna get caught. So they gonna have to probably either keep that call for years. They they going to start getting them for these calls anyway. That's about to happen. So it took my business credit up when they stole. Yep, when they stole. They're planning to open up another school in my name and all this and say, oh, we're going to hire all these teachers. I'm not hiring none of these people. I had a performing arts school that I decided not to start back up yet until all of this mess is finished. Yep. So that's what I did. That's what I did. I, I had students coming in. It was, I'm telling you, huge. It's going to be huge. But they're waiting for me to do it. And because I have not did it, um, they're like, oh, okay, this is not her. No, it's it's me. But it's a reason why I have not done it, okay? So stay tuned about that. I got so much to talk to you guys about. Thank you for tuning into the, um, thank you for tuning into the, uh, the, um, this documentary okay and this is part three okay no this is um this is season one episode three okay so i got a lot to share with you guys today you guys have a beautiful day hopefully you have a great week and i will talk to you guys soon